I have stated in other videos that I don't like to talk about content that isn't in the game yet. However, since shamanism wasn't chosen as the old school runescape skill, and given that it was quite popular, I wanted to take a look at it, talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and try to give a little bit more depth to the blog post. So, I voted for sailing. I'm happy sailing won. Given this, why would you hear my pitch, or why am I even interested in giving you my pitch? The answer is actually quite simple. I didn't like a lot of the aspects that the pitch had, and it did come close to winning. If this is something Jackax is considering in the future, given how popular it was, I want to make sure people actually understand what they are asking for. With the experience that I have in RuneScape 3, which is a game that does get a lot of skills, I think I'm better equipped to talk about what parts of the skill can be good, and what parts of the skill can be bad. First of all, the pitch was all over the place. It tried to touch on a lot of gameplay mechanics as opposed to having a concise gameplay loop. This is exactly one of the main issues that made warding fail in my opinion. It does feel that the skill was made backwards to a point. In essence, it feels that Jagex came up with the rewards first, them being the buffs to weapons and armors, and then tried to put everything together under a single skill. The Spirit World Exploration, for example, looks like an idea they just decided to throw in, given it was faintly related to shamanism. This makes the pitch feel very confusing. Secondly, the training. In short, the pitch states that you would have material caches around Gilenor that you would gather materials from to perform the rituals. The pitch also states that the bulk of the XP would come from the gathering of materials themselves and not from performing the rituals. This just makes it sound like a worse version of summoning that somehow involves divination. The issue here is that the gathering and thus training feel completely disconnected. While with most skills the way you train them is by interacting with the skill and its rewards, here the training and rewards are completely separate. Much like summoning, where you gather materials for pouches to make them, there is where the bulk of the XP is, not by using the pouches during activities. Same with divination, the bulk of the XP is in gathering the energy around Gilenor, not into making items or using the rewards you obtain from it. And just as a side note, not many people enjoy divination since most rewards are useless and the XP rates are slow. So most people just use caches which are a daily minigame that give you huge amounts of XP. Lastly, the biggest problem for me were the permanent buffs slash augmentation. I understand a lot of players look at invention as a good thing, which it is, for RuneScape 3. For old school RuneScape, I don't think the game currently possesses the mechanics to have such implementations without outright making it bad. I'm not gonna extend myself on this point since I already made a video on Invention you can go and check out, where I talk a bit more deeply why Invention wouldn't fit old school RuneScape. Spirit Worlds it's a shame Jagex made them look just like a passing thought, but I think you can actually put this at the center of the skill and how to train it. There's a lot you can do with them, and in the blog post they felt really unexplored. The dynamic gameplay. Rituals can affect a wide variety of gameplay styles as well as just changing the dynamics of how you even interact with the game to begin with, bringing more depth to most existing aspects of the game, much like Invention did. Obviously, while I think this is a positive, since Invention did the same thing, you would have to approach it differently here since permanent augmentations slash buffs would probably ruin a lot of the aspects the game actually has to offer and a lot of different gameplay styles. The rituals themselves. Outside of giving you a different experience during gameplay, rituals themselves have a lot of potential to be taken in a huge variety of paths. Taking these things into consideration, this is how I would do the shamanism pitch. First, we have to separate these into two parts, the gathering and the rituals. Let's start with the gathering. First of all, let's actually bring the spirit world concept to the forefront. Some players have asked for the engineering to be brought to old school RuneScape, but as a minigame. While Gauntlet was an attempt at that, outside of the reward chess, you don't actually get rewarded for exploring the different rooms, especially due to the timer. So, let's grab that concept and apply it to spirit worlds. Much like the engineering as randomly generated floors of different types, you could do the same thing here. Let's say you have different places with a portal to the spirit world like in Lumbridge, Varrock and so on. When jumping into one of these you would get a randomly generated floor with specific skilling nodes made for shamanism that you can gather unique 
and tradable materials from. This would put a big emphasis on actually exploring the place, would make it less boring than just sitting around and gathering materials from a node, while keeping things fresh due to the semi-random nature of the generation. You could then use these materials with materials found in normal Gilenor to produce ritual scrolls of different kinds. These materials could be already existing materials, providing a pseudo item sync for certain materials, or just materials from normal caches also attached to shamanism. A note here about the items, while you can totally make them tradable, I fear that doing so would put too much emphasis on the nature of it being a viable skill, as opposed to encouraging players to gather the materials themselves. While I am trying to make my own pitch here, I don't want to stray too far away from Jagex's idea of it. Now that you have the materials that you need for the rituals, there's a couple of ways you could approach this. You can either make it like runes where you need the materials themselves to activate a ritual and use it like we do spellbooks. You could turn these materials into a refined combination of materials, so the same thing but with combined materials adding an extra process. Or you could just make ritual scrolls, a scroll that gets consumed when used, allowing you to still use magic and spellbooks and shamanism at the same time, given that shamanism was actually proposed as a support skill for most activities in the game, not as a magic substitute. Regardless of how you approach it, the point here is to use the materials you have gathered to process them into something else. So now, let's talk about the rituals. The rituals would be either, again, a rune type materials that you can activate to have a certain effect, or a scroll you would spend upon using it. These would be temporary effects bestowed upon you that can have a wide variety of changes, while some might just allow you to have a slightly reduced prayer drain temporarily, others could be area of effects where anyone sitting on them would, for example, receive a healing buff. This would encourage more of a group play, while also enhancing the parts of solo play for those who want to play solo. The main objective of these scrolls is to change how you interact with content, so while you might prioritize rituals that make a kill faster, for example, you can also prioritize rituals that make it more consistent. The reason for them being usable items is so you have to choose between bringing more supplies or bringing the scrolls. This is the main balancing method of old school RuneScape at the moment where you can bring a switch to do more DPS and as a result have a faster kill, at the sacrifice of something going wrong and incurring on a wipe due to lack of supplies. The scrolls can also affect skilling or any other activity really. For instance, you could have a scroll that increases the amount of time a stamina potion has. The sky is the limit when it comes to this regard and reward space. Making the scrolls would be the processing part of the skill. This could be then anywhere and upon making the scroll you can sell it. So while you can't sell the raw materials, you can't sell the final product. And lastly, let's talk about the skill progression. So now that we have both gathering mechanics down and the rewards, let's talk about how the skill would actually progress. The experience would be divided between gathering the materials by exploring spirit worlds, making ritual scrolls and using the ritual scrolls. The objective of earning experience should always be to be connected to actually using the skill. These would ensure that you can't make the skill viable since buying scrolls and using them is only a portion of what you can get and thus lower overall XP. At certain levels you could unlock different hubs. These would be spirit world hubs that aren't randomly generated with NPCs that could teach you certain specific rituals at exchange of certain tasks or materials. You have potential to expand lore or just another place for us to explore in Gilenor. The different levels would give you access to different hubs. The different rituals would obviously have different level requirements and leveling up could upgrade the effects of your rituals so you could make them stronger the higher level you are or make them last a little bit longer. The randomly generated spirit worlds would also have a level requirement. Getting high level materials from being able to access the Lambridge node, for example, would maybe cheapen the experience a little bit. Or at least you would be able to earn more materials from other level locked nodes that are higher level and require higher level. These would be the principal ideas from my pitch, a skill focused on both gathering and processing that affects the way you interact with different aspects of the game. So, to summarize, you have randomly generated floors like the engineering that you can get materials for rituals from. These materials could be combined with existing materials to craft ritual scrolls. Rituals give temporary buffs that affect both PVM and skilling, can be individual or area of effect. 
The training of the skill is spread all throughout its components to reward you for engaging with it. That's how I would make the shamanism scaling pitch, but given that they are currently working on sailing, we will see if they ever revisit the idea and how they are actually going to go about it. Also, I apologize for the lack of a lot of fancy graphics in this video, but I am busy switching things to a new PC, so I'm a bit all over the place when making videos at the moment. Anyhow, regardless if you voted on shamanism or not, I would love to hear what you thought about this pitch, would you like to have this skill in the game, would you not, what you would change about it.